What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're back at it again, making some more content for you guys. So in today's video, um, this is gonna be mainly for the um, Mercedes owners, C or C250, C350, C300, C63, whatever. If you have a Mercedes or a BMW, but mainly Mercedes, because that's the way to go. Sorry, BMW. I'm a Mercedes guy. But in this video, you guys are gonna go, you guys are gonna like what's gonna happen. I'm actually gonna be getting a ECU tune for this car to make some good sounds and stuff and some a little bit more horsepower to it. But alright, so this video here is gonna be a little bit different. We're actually gonna be collabing with um, my tuner, which is located in Miami, Florida. So we're gonna do like a step by step and kind of a tutorial for you guys to see how the process goes, um, what's done, how you take off your EC off the car, and all that stuff. So we're actually gonna be parting out the video kinda with my part and his part. We're gonna basically what I'm gonna be showing is how to remove your ECU off your motor, which isn't really hard at all. And then later on in the video, we're gonna show his part of how he tunes his ECU and what he does and all that stuff. So it's going to be pretty dope. Hope you guys enjoy that. It's going to be a little bit different, but we wanted to try it out and be new, you know. Work out, work with some of the people from out of the state. Get our name out there a little bit and show you guys what you need for your Mercedes. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, but yeah, the company is called Project A. And the guy, is his name is Pro, or Daniel, but his Instagram name is Project underscore Daniel. If you want to check him out. So basically, what we're going to be doing is removing my ECU, and that's one of the easiest things to do. So let's go ahead and do that. First, open your car, obviously pop the hood, get up in there, pop. And this goes, well for my model, especially it's the pre, pre facelift model. And if you don't know what the difference between, there's going to be two versions. There's going to be the facelift and then the pre facelift which I have is a pre-facelift for a 2012 and if you want to know pre-facelift you have this motor not which sure the motor name is called but yeah you have this type and then you have, if you have the facelift you have you just the intake on this side and your actually ECU actually be located right here but it's a little different motor but if you look up like 2013-2014 C300 then that's the type of motor I'm talking about. But this is for the pre facelift. And for the, your ECU, surprisingly, that's your ECU right there. Super easy. And it's just all clips and four. There's like three clips. I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead and show you guys how it's done. Alright. So mainly, this is super easy. Um, this comes off like clips. There's gonna be, oh, this clip actually broke. Well, shit. That sucks. <laughs> but yeah, there's gonna be a clip right here that obviously hold that. I'm gonna fix that in a little bit. And then it clips onto here and then here. So all you have to do is remove your ECU. There's gonna be your little clip back here for your the air. But you just here you pop that back, pop, and then to take this whole assembly out. Surprise it's just it all it oh, you gotta take this tube off as well. Boom. And then push it up from this side and come up on this side, pull it up, boom. And with that being done, this thing is totally free. And you can remove this whole thing. And that's it. And there's the ugliness under that beautiful thing. So here's your EC ECU, it's right here. Um, all it is is these clips right here, they slide out, boom, that slides out, same with the other side, completely slides out like that, it should pop out like that, move this one, boom, this comes off, make sure this is completely slid out, or this is not going to come out completely, boom, that's one, same with this side, Oh god, I'm having a little trouble here. But 
Boom, that's it. And those are only two clips that hold your ECU to place. And as you can see, these four kind of pins holding in place. Same on the other side. And all that comes out is, but oh, that's hot. God damn. Shit, that's kind of hurt. So, get a rag. Um, and that should easily come off. So, let's see it It'll come off now. Pull it up. Boom. Pull this side up. Boom. And your ECU is completely out. And that motherfucker's hot. Woo! I'm going to go ahead and send this to Daniel. And let him do his magic. What I'm going to be doing to this car is getting a stage 1 tune. And basically a stage 1. He does a stage 1 and a stage 2. Stage 1, um, basically it's like... I don't, know, I don't remember the exact numbers. He'll show you, tell you pretty much everything between the difference between stage one and stage two. So I'm going ahead and get that boxed up and everything. So you have your ECU out, put it back together. Now you're going to be carless for a couple days. Only thing sucks, I'm not going to be driving my car for the past or for the next three to four days because I'm going to be shipping that over to Daniel. Let him do his magic to my ECU. And basically what it is, stage one, um, I believe it's 26 horsepower and 22 torque going to be added on into my car with some goodies of some popcorns and crackles and pops and bangs, all the goodies. So the stage two, I'm not doing that because I don't have the right exhaust system for it. And Daniel recommended stage one for me. So I'm going to listen to the man that knows his thing. And yeah. Whew, I should have this back in four days, my ECU. And then I'm gonna have that, put it on, slap it on, see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ECU boxed up and ship, it, ship that to him. And you guys will see him in just a little bit. And we are back. Five days later, I got my ECU back from Daniel. And I couldn't sleep all night. 
It's, it's about one o'clock right now on a Friday and I've been waiting for this all day. Couldn't sleep. I'm super excited. I probably sound tired as fuck, which I am, but let's go ahead, go outside, put this back on the car and see what it's like. Who could decided to show up? Can I help you guys? Dang, am I gonna be in the vlog, bro? Can I help you guys? No, I'm gonna take back my car. I'm, I'm here to take back the camera. Okay, bye. <laughs> what is up, y'all? I'm not gonna be a part of the vlog. I'm going to the zoo today. No, I have to go to the um, to grab my stuff. But yeah, say what's up. Say what's up. Say what's up. Hey, this person's never been in the vlog. Why is she running away from me? <laughs> Turn around. Just say hi, God damn. Hey, I'll tag your Instagram right here. No, I don't. Just look at the camera. There you go. Dad. Okay, that's trend. For y'all that don't know. All right, did you already t tell them what we we're, what were doing? Yeah. We just gotta put it back on now. So, stage two. Stage, I don't know if Daniel told you guys or not, but it's the stage, I, I told you guys I was getting a stage one, but Daniel was so nice and generous. He upgraded me to a stage two tune, which isn't really too much of a big difference. Um, all it is from a difference between a stage one and stage two is like 10 horsepower and like 11 twerk. The only yeah, difference. So it's just still slow. Yeah, it's, 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 eh. I'm not really going for the horsepower, but I'm more going for the pops and crackle. So that's what I'm really excited about. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and slap my ECU back on. And oh, I've I've been waiting for this moment. So where are we going first? Are we going to Walmart? Excited! Let's get it. Why'd you bring that piece of dookie car to my house? Fuck you! Oh shit! We got a throwback, bro. What? When she was in the pageant. Yeah. Throwback. Remember when they made the big ass pictures of her? Where? That they're buying empty. Oh, that shit should be in the trash. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> he just drove off here! How you loving that car so far, Teddy? It's amazing. Yeah, better than your fucking Civic. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and put this ECU on because I want to hear it already. I'm excited. Let's do it. So just like before, I showed you guys to take it off. Same way to put it back on. Four pins. There's four holes. Goes right in there. Two this side, two on the other side. Uh, plug your wiring back in where it needs to be. Same as thing. Pull these, uh, I don't know, clips things out all the way out. And then plug it in. This is in the beginning. Unplug your battery first before you unplug your ECU. Totally forgot to do that, but yeah. Blame this fool. What do you mean? But yeah. These, when you're putting it back in, they're kind of confusing. Well, not really confusing, but like, so this slides out, right? <laughs> Boom. And this doesn't plug in there. You just push it in there as far as it'll go in, and you push it back in, and it clips back into place. And that's fucking sick. Instead, I have like, make sure it's all the way in, but the, when you slide it in, that's how it knows you're in there. Yeah, because muscle head trying to force it in there. Yeah. <laughs> so that's in. Um, I'm gonna let the car sit about for five minutes when everything's back in play or everything's plugged back in I guess Wait a little bit and then do a little cold start let that warm up because this car hasn't been off for five days And yeah, that was the longest five days of my life Did dude. You do the before and after? Uh, I mean the before is not it's the only thing main difference is the pops and crackles really and a little more gain on horsepower so Daniel, I'm just ready to see your work Hope you're watching this video, man. And then also, I appreciate the stickers, brother. I would definitely put this on my car. Oh, Project A. If you haven't, guys, go check him out on Instagram. Follow, give him a follow, because this dude is really cool. He's super humble. And yeah, this his work is pretty neat. Oh. He only does European cars. <laughs> Well, he actually, I don't know. I just know he mainly focuses on, like, Mercedes cars. But I don't know. He might. So let the car sit. Let's go ahead and put all these covers back on. And, yeah. It's louder. Huh? It's definitely louder. 
Say, did you tell them about that yet? No. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that right there. You know, just I'm gonna get that fixed. I got a new diffuser coming in, so it's it's pretty bad. It's cracked. Might as well wrap the car. No, it's, I don't know. We'll see. I like the color of this car. This is sinable. It's just my spider webs. This shit up here is. You feel that yet? Yeah, I felt that. Some Bondo would take care of it. So, I'm fucking excited. You see you on, I've been having the car on for like five minutes now, letting it warm up a little bit. Um, I did try to rev it a little bit on idle, but there's no pops and crackles just yet, because I'm, I'm guessing like a well, European car takes about like five to 10 minutes for it to like reflash the whole car or something. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure, this is my first time getting a tune. So, let the car warm up a little bit. We're gonna go to a different neighborhood, because I don't want to wake up my dad or anything. So stage two, you have to be a catalyst to be shooting flames, which I'm not catalyst yet. So that's stage two. The flames gonna come later down the road for sure. So when we go on catalyst. I want to hear it from the outside. I'm probably gonna give it a couple more days to let it like warm up with the new ECU and stuff. Downshift! God damn it, it's out of your ass! Alright, Teddy, don't, don't, don't fuck up. Ooh! <laughs> what? On a NA V6 motor? How is that possible? How? Oh my god, I just love this car even more. I literally fell in love with this car again. And this is actually my first time seeing it completely finished, being driven by someone else. And it actually looks really good. <laughs> Dude! So good. Dude! It's so good! That shit sounds loud as fuck. Dude, it's, it's like. I mean, it's not completely loud, but it's definitely louder. It's a fucking It's change. definitely louder. It's Holy a, crap. Oh, another level from what you had. Before. Dude, I'm... Oh my god. I am stoked. Damn, it's so windy. It's probably messing up the quality of the video. But... Earlier, it was just raining. That's it's fucking sunny. super dope. Yeah, it was, it was raining earlier. But... Um, here, go ahead and go back around and pull into my driveway. <laughs> Dude, that thing is so dope. All right, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, um, thanks for watching. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, I definitely won't notice till a couple days later until I notice, like, start doing some more pops and settle crackles. In. Yeah, let it settle in a little bit longer to see how that does. Because it's only been like 30 minutes that the new ECU has been in the car, so. Well, you're knowing, probably knowing European cars takes a while for everything like to get used to or whatever. There's some computer stuff, but 
yeah um that's fucking amazing thanks daniel for watching this but yeah that's today that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it um for majority of the mercedes lovers you're gonna want this tune i highly recommend it put his instagram in the description box down below go check him out give him a follow show him some love um but yeah if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up and this 1,000 subscriber mark that we hit and we've been noticing that we've been getting ads and stuff and just like when you hit that 1,000 mark subscriber you usually get all those whatever I don't know what you want to call them but yeah that really means a lot to me and Anthony and all the boys um, so if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up uh, comment down below if you have any questions about this tune or anyone's car because we definitely definitely having some big plans coming soon Especially for Taddy. Taddy got some big news coming for you guys. But we're already going to keep that a secret. So stay tuned for that video. Um, but yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I don't got nothing else to say. Be nice subscribe. Yeah. That's basically it. If you guys like our YouTube channel. If you guys support us. If you guys love us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Because it does help us out a lot. A lot. So comment down below because we like reading guys' comments too. Yeah, we definitely read the comments, so if you guys don't know that. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.